Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. Today is holiday. It's Labor Day, so I decided to paint again because, you know, I love painting if you don't know already. <laughs> so today I'll be doing a different type of painting. Actually, this is the first time that I'll be doing this type of painting. I'll be doing a message in a bottle painting. And I'm excited and a, bit, and a bit anxious about how this is going to end because, again, this is my first time to do this type of painting. Anyway, I, I love painting, so I'm going to do my best to get the result that I really want for this painting. Alright, so here are the colors that we'll be using for today's tutorial. Uh, the colors will be listed in the description box below. So we have primary or thalo blue, titanium white, primary green or thalo green, uh, black, lemon yellow, and burnt sienna. Let's begin now. I'm gonna canvas, oh, I'm gonna background first my canvas. I'm using a 10 by 14 canvas board. So if you want to get the exact size, that's the size of my canvas. Or if you just want to get a proportionate canvas, you may get, uh, for smaller ones, you can have a 5 by 7 that's too small I think. Or if you want it bigger, you can get like uh, 20 by 20 by 28, right? Am I right? Yeah, 20 by 28. So I'm gonna background my canvas board first, so I'll be using my blue. blue white tiny bit of green okay okay and i always want to tone down my colors so i'll be using burnt burnt sienna a bit i really don't want super blue color okay maybe add more blue i want it to be more blue than green Okay, again, burnt sienna because I really don't like super blue color. All right, and I'm going to wet it so that I get to spread more colors on my canvas. I'm going to begin now. Again, I'm going to add more brown because I feel like... Uh, it needs to be more dark or black okay I'm so tempted to just use my black okay it's gonna extend right here Okay, now I'm going to make some lighter colors. So I'm just going to add white to this color that we already have. And I'm going to use this light color up here. So I'm trying to remove some harsh lines because we're painting waters 
We don't want any harsh lines to be uh, visible. Alright. And I'm gonna make some areas more polished for the dark uh, blue green color. right here I'm just layering it okay with the same color so that my canvas is solid okay when it comes to underpainting and of course this is not just the underpainting this is actually the colors of the water all right I'm gonna wash my brush out I'm going to get more white right here. Just like that let me check okay this area is quite uh, not blended let me check all right anyway it will be covered with uh, the bottle later remember that we will be doing message in a bottle it's quite interesting okay i wanna okay apply more white right here on the right side because we will be doing some light play as well. And again, we don't want any harsh lines going on. So blend or smoothen out those colors. Let me check. All right, for now, it's gonna be all right. It's all right, I mean, for now. Okay. You know my paints dry um, relatively quick so I don't have any issue with the drying time so if your paints dry pretty slow you can get a hair hair dryer to dry things quickly if you're painting along with me but of course you can always pause the video and wait for the paints to dry me I'm just gonna go ahead and sketch the bottle because I can actually work on this already without waiting for it to fully dry or to completely dry I mean so for the sketch of the bottle I'm just gonna get my black you can use any color in all honesty because we will be removing the sketch lines anyway so for purposes of visibility I'm just gonna use black so that you can see uh, the sketch again I'm using my paints in sketching I mean I'm using it straight away because I don't want to waste any more of my time in um, sketching it using pencils and all that all that stuff you can always do that but me I'm just gonna go ahead because one I'm quite lazy when it comes to that <laughs> that's actually the main reason it's not because you know I'm good at painting and all that <laughs> I'm just lazy all right so I'm gonna begin the bottle uh, sketch with the cork so if I commit a mistake all right, I'm just going to paint over it. So for the cork. Okay. Again, okay. 
this is not <laughs> it's just the sketch don't worry too much I'm just trying to identify where things are gonna go. So. Since we're painting, um, you know, we're painting a man-made object, which is the bottle, okay? We should do our best to make it um, proportionate and symmetrical. Again, adjustments will be done if necessary. For now, just going to go ahead and freehand everything because uh, I love freehanding everything. <laughs> Not only challenges me, it makes me feel that it makes me feel more proud of my painting when it's finished. Okay, for now, it's going to be like this. All right, okay. Okay, and then the water will be, of course, uh, it's slightly dipped into the water. It's floating in the waters. So you can only see part of the bottle. You're not seeing the whole bottle to give it more drama. All right, and I'm going to color the cork now. I'll be using my burnt sienna in yellow. Actually, I'm not compelling you to look at my palette because it's quite gross, right? For some. <laughs> but I don't mind. Anyway, this will be the color of the cork, the underpainting. I'll be adding more brown and yellow. Okay, I'm just going to color the cork. And as I told you, the sketch lines don't matter too much because I'll be painting over the sketch lines anyway. That's why I didn't want you to worry so much what color of um, paints that I'll be using for the sketch. So. I'm already painting over the sketch lines. We don't want that sketch line anymore. It's only a guide. All right, okay, just like that. This is the cork. Okay, we'll be painting over that later. For now, let's just allow it to dry because it's quite wet. So I'll be changing my brush. I'll be using another brush. Okay. Doesn't matter what brush you use, to be honest. So I'll be getting the same color that we had for the waters, the light one. But I'll be adding more white to that to make it more light, of course. And I'll be coloring now this bottle. Remember that we are trying already to remove the sketch lines. So I want you to paint over the sketch lines somehow okay there will be sketch lines that will be still that will still be there but very minimal um presence as you can see here all right oops sorry Just like that. 
and I'll be scattering this color right here okay do not paint the whole thing this color or with this color just a little bit of that just like that Also here and of course my hands have a lot of ink I mean a lot of colors but it's okay so again I'm gonna change my brush I'm going to create some darker shades of blue green all right I'll be adding black because again I want some dark colors and white okay maybe this this blue ocean blue green and i'm gonna color this part And try to touch the sketch lines because again we don't need the sketch lines in all honesty maybe a little bit of, of some separation lines but I will explain that later for now uh, let's remove the sketch lines as much as possible we don't want that the same color right here All right just like that I'll be adding a little bit of that color on the bottle very random okay because the bottle is trans parent so you can actually see through the bottle the waters just like that and since I'm already I already have this color I'm just gonna go ahead and make some um reflections okay so i'm just gonna go ahead We want to make sure that it looks watery.
we will definitely go back to the ripples for now let's just identify where the ripples are gonna go I'm gonna lighten this a bit. I feel like it's too dark. Right, just like that. gonna go and get my pointy brush let's get some black okay maybe not black I'm sorry I'm gonna get some yellow and I'm gonna slightly lighten the lower portion of the cork okay just lighten it a bit Just like that. And now I'm going to proceed with the black. Okay, this is just a guide. This is not actually the color that I want. I'm going to add a little bit of detail on the cork. We will definitely go back to the ripples but now I want to create okay I told you to delete the sketch lines so I'm gonna remove the sketch lines because again we don't want that I mean not really related but i really love the smell of my hair <laughs> you know as i'm painting i'm smelling it so i i feel like um there's a scented candle while i'm painting because my hair is very <laughs> anyway why am i talking about my hair i just love the smell of my hair the scent of my hair is so nice just to tell you that i'm enjoying it <laughs> I'm enjoying <laughs> just random you know it's not always all the time that I speak so randomly about things so forgive me anyway let's continue okay so this will be the highlights Now I'm just so excited to do the 
the message inside the bottle. So for that, I'll be using my yellow okay, and my white. A little bit of burnt sienna because you know how much I love muted colors. We don't want to do, we don't want to do super bright yellow. All right. So for the paper, a rolled up paper, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, create. Let's just create first shape, okay? So some parts will be painted over, as you can see. Just like that, and I'm just going to continue using this color to paint the paper. I want to mute it more, I'll be adding brown. So I'm going to color first the whole thing with this color before we detail it. Alright, just going to extend right here. Okay, now I'm gonna use a different brush. I'm gonna highlight, okay. So I'll be using the same color, but I'll be adding more white, okay. And maybe I'm gonna remove the excess paint. I'm just gonna make some, okay. Actually, it's not yet dry, but I'm just gonna go and and do it. All right. So I'm just gonna lighten the, the left side of the folded paper. No, not folded, the rolled, the rolled paper. The message in the bottle Just like that. Okay, and using my pointy brush. I'm gonna use black and brown. So just use black and brown to identify where the folds are gonna go.
just like that. Okay. Now using my pure white. So get your pure white. I'm just gonna go and highlight this part of the folded paper or the ruled the ruled paper. I keep saying folded paper. Anyway, you get what I mean. So I'm just gonna lighten it. And using white. Just lighten. Oops. Anyway, any mistake that I make, I'm just gonna correct later. Then using white, create some highlights. Okay, I'm using some watered down paints. I'll be using a lot of white, but watered down to create that ripples. Just water it down, meaning just add more water. And then using my fingers, I'm spreading the paint. All right, so again, water down. So this is, uh, I don't know how many times I've said it, maybe once or twice, but when we're painting water, just use more water. It makes sense, right? Like. A little bit of detailing. Now I want to go back to the cork. All right. Then using some blues that we use for the waters. I'll make sure that there are some blues going on. And then some black. a little bit of that. I 
and some dark blues again. This looks nice. I'm gonna get some white. Let's add some. Okay, my white is quite watery. All right, just like that. Okay. And I'm gonna whiten this part. So um, just soften those areas when you add some waters. Always soften it because waters are not supposed to look like um, like so hard, like right? Like they are not supposed to look hard. Okay, I'm just gonna whiten this side to make it more consistent with the light. To make the glass more glassy, I'm gonna like glaze it with white because we don't want the mess the paper to look like it's outside the bottle. We want to make it look like it's inside the bottle, which is supposed which is how it's supposed to be. Because we're painting a message in a bottle. I'm just gonna glaze it with white, making it appear more inside. And some detailing.
Let me check. Okay, this is nice. But I need to add more details. Oops. So using some white. Add more details. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that noise. You know what? Here in my place, that's the only noise that you can hear. Street noise. Um, I don't really hear a lot of other noises like neighbors. Which is good because the streets are they're not that bad. I'll be adding some more watery effect. And I'm just going to make this area bluish. All right, just like that. Right here. And then I'm going to highlight a bit the sides, the bottle, just a bit. Alright, so some more highlights. I'm going to add a little bit of bluey colors. Again, we want to make sure that the bottle um, is uh, transparent. So just add more bluey colors. 
here and even on the paper as well just to give it more interest I like it. Okay, now I'm going to glaze over the water part so that it looks more watery. So we'll be using the blue-green mixture that we already have. Okay, Just for glazing and if you're not really comfortable doing this, you may not do so. I'm just doing it because I, I want the painting to look more um, one. Like that. And I want to slightly outline the bottle. Just slightly, okay. Again, we don't want to do this, we don't want to overdo that step. We just want to make sure that it is consistent with oneness. like that Okay. Oh, I love this one. It looks really painterly. <laughs> and then using some yellowy colors. Let's um, brighten a bit the cork. Just a bit. It's not too much, right? We don't want to overdo that step and also the paper so that we're still consistent with oneness. If yellow is present somewhere, it has to be present in another location. I don't know if uh, I'm making sense. Um, 
it has to be somewhere else as well. It's not just one area and absent in other areas. It's like that. And a tiny bit of that color. Okay, I think this is nice. Okay, just to soften it even more, I'm gonna use white and green. Just to soften it even more, the water. Just gonna glaze over horizontally, not round. side brighter give it more light play we want to make sure that we're consistent with the light source all right mm -hmm. okay this is nice. So I think I'm going to sign this now. This looks nice. Okay. So I'm going to sign this now. Very um, painterly, I must say. So I'm going to sign right here. Very tiny signature. We're done, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. It's quite simple. It's quite different from the usual ones that I, that I do. So if you're painting along with me, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this painting, let me know in the comment section below. And see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Love you.